Hello and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about the bloatware that's included in your new iPhone. So I just noticed how, you know, there's every time a new iPhone comes up, they come up with a new app. And so, of course, you have the normal stuff like the App Store, which is pretty essential. Safari, you know, it's the default browser. Um, a lot of people use it. It is a good browser. Um, iMessages, you know, phone, mail app, all that, all that stuff. Uh, you might still use a different mail app for like say or work or anything like that but then um you know you have the apple watch and apple store and fitness and you know all kinds of keynote numbers fine i mean you know their maps even though they've proven multiple times that it's a subpar app um mapping uh function but yet they include it you know so there's tons of bloatwares now with you know translate is good actually podcast is good um but the stock app i mean i guess some people do use it themselves but um but then you know of course wallet's necessary camera of course that's necessary but here's the new thing that they added on the apple store app and here's the interesting thing so the apple store app when you open it up it kind of looks like this interesting thing is you get a new iphone you click on the apple store app it doesn't work it just opens up a black screen right 30 seconds later it says hey we gotta update this is new update before the bef without the new update you're not gonna be able to use it so okay you're gonna go ahead and download to see hey what is this apple store app about guess what it's an app about purchasing apple products you don't need that in your phone this is just a complete waste of an app this is like the definition of bloatware right so, you know, for the money you pay um, Apple, they really should not deteriorate themselves to including bloatware into your phone. Anyways, that's my uh, rant for the day. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.